Yes, guys, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal podcast. Welcome back to the channel, lads. We're gonna be speaking about um, it's not a breaking story anymore because it's a, it's it, it, it has passed you know time, but um, Daniel Ek has been speaking and he has re you know re reiterated his position about buying Arsenal. Now, there have been reports that maybe maybe um ek will think otherwise after us losing that game uh, or dropping out of the europa league uh, on thursday however he has said that um he's still committed about buying arsenal and he will not move an each he's still very very committed the bid is coming in this week however the week is running out so probably we expect the bid today um or tomorrow uh we're gonna be listening in from cave and um you're going to be hearing some of the best uh my best journalist and um let's Daniel let's listen totally committed to trying to buy arsenal despite what happened at the emirates stadium last night Th that, that that is the first position committed to buying arsenal despite what happened um at the emirates last night of course you remember last night that zero zero um flat, you know, players falling onto the pitch crying um after we didn't qualify a bismo an absolute bismo of, of, of a performance and you know what i think this only shows you that if we get Ek at the helm of that ownership the first thing he has to deal with is the board and make a lot but he says he's still very very committed let's listen in from Kave. Of course, Arsenal failure to beat Villarreal means they're unlikely to be playing in Europe next season. Ek is set to make an opening bid, but he didn't want to make that offer before last night's game. Because Okay, so again now we know why the deal has been delayed, why the bid has been delayed. According to Kave, he says that uh, Daniel Ek didn't actually want to make um, the bid. He didn't want to make the initial bid before the game and literally because that would actually um affect the players and um affect the manager and ev affect the game uh, and the conditions and environment ar around the game we have not benefited because whether he made the you know, he made the bid or you know, he didn't the performance was still an absolute business but uh this is what Ek, uh, Kave says Ek thought that maybe making the bid could actually uh make arsenal lose the game because he didn't want to cause a distraction as far as Mikel Arteta and the yeah. players are concerned. Now, if he does bid £1.8 billion, it could be argued that that would be a great offer, considering Arsenal are set to miss out on European football for the first time in 25 seasons. Good. So, again, another positive one. I mean, just positive news in this one. I think the, posit the last uh, positive story we have had um, in a couple of hours it says that uh, the 1.8 billion bid will be just enough to change Kroenke's position from I don't want to sell to sell because literally the value of the club is falling. F for the past 25 years, we've been qualifying for European football, either European, uh, either the Europa League or the Champions League. This is the first time in 25 years that we will not be playing in any European competition. And this makes the value of the club drop a little bit low first and foremost but it, it, next season is gonna be so so unprofitable for the crunkies no europa league no champions league finishing ninth literally the revenue is dropping and dropping and dropping so maybe we could see the 1.8 bid um billion bid taken in by the crunkies and also uh we could see this bid being just sufficient enough maybe the, the uh, pushing out crunkies on Sunday, we'll actually realize the dream we are all asking for. So Kave says maybe the, bill, uh, the bid will actually be just enough. Out of respect for Arsenal owner Stan Kroenke, Ek will not be commenting on the bid. But last night doesn't change anything. He wants to buy Arsenal and he has the funds in place to do a deal. Exactly. Kave, what has intrigued a lot of Arsenal fans is the involvement of, of the legends. Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp, Patrick Vieira. What is their position as we stand? Their position hasn't changed either. They are as committed as Daniel Ek. They are backing him 100%. He has a plan and a vision for Arsenal that the Arsenal legends Thierry Henry, Dennis Bergkamp, Patrick Vieira totally back. And that vision and that plan 
is to get Arsenal back challenging for the Premier League title and the Champions League again. Now, as far as Ek is concerned, he wants to be the solution. He doesn't want to be a problem. He doesn't want to be a distraction. Going forward, he's not going to be commenting. But don't misinterpret that as him not being interested in buying the club. My information is that he is 100% interested. What happened last night does not affect anything. He so guys, that is it. That is the story. Bottom line, Ek won't be commenting, commenting on anything going forward. He won't be commenting going forward, but, but that doesn't change his position. He's totally committed. So that is what we understand uh, from this story. Maybe uh, the other thing that, I, that, that I've got and um, I would like to share with you guys is the fact that um, X says he wants to be a solution. Maybe that is something that we need to talk about because literally uh, we are having problems and problems and problems um, of ownership. So X says he wants to be a solution. He doesn't want to be a problem going forward. He doesn't want to be a distraction. So probably from now to the end of the season, we could listen um, listen in very, 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 um, you know, we, we could get li little from Daniel Ek, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to buy the club. That doesn't mean he has changed his position. He's still 100% committed the vision he has is um is uh, uh, which has actually attracted uh, the club legends henry Barkham and vera is still the same vision for us not to challenge for the premier league challenging for the champions league at all maximum top levels it is believed that the bid is going to be coming out this week we are uh, that is according to uh, Skype. They gave us 10 days. We are uh, in, in around 7 days of the 10 days. So probably today um, and tomorrow we could hear that uh, uh, a bid has been launched or released. He said he never wanted to release the bid um, earlier, Ron, before, the, before the, um, the big game because it could have distracted the players. Will Cronky sell? Will he not? Uh, will, will Cronky not sell? We are, not, we are going to discuss that at exactly 9 30 p.m on the live show will Cronky get out of this football club will he stay but according to breaking news daniel ek is 100 percent committed he is not going absolutely anywhere and for me that's another uh, another reason to smile so we're waiting in for that bid 1.8 billion which is approximated to be enough because the value of this club is going to drop uh, is going to be dropping deeper and deeper and deeper thank you so much Kave Soleho um, at Sky Sports. That guy, I love that guy. He's been following this deal. He's one of those journalists that have been really, really, really on it. He's been following the deal. And now we do understand that if there is a journalist, we have to follow on Twitter to understand everything about this deal. It is this guy, Kave Soleho. So make sure you follow him on Twitter and make sure you smash a like on the video. I'll see you at the other end. Will Arsenal finally get a new owner? As always, come on you gunners and I'll see you on the other end.